This is my old computer, 32-bit processor that I installed Ubuntu on and I'm going to use as a replacement for my original NES that finally died last summer. So I'm doing this one in a 64-bit virtual machine. I'm going to do sudo apt update and and sudo apt upgrade. This is the same process for installing it on uh, the Ubuntu machine. This one's Linux Mint Cinnamon. Yes. There was an error um, during the install on the Ubuntu machine because it's only 32-bit. Some of the emulators are only designed for 64-bit machines, so it was the N64 that failed, which doesn't matter to me because I'm using it for an NES. Next up is sudo apt install dash y git dialog unzip and xml starlet. Next command is git clone dash dash depth equals one and the GitHub website where RetroPie is. You can also go to github.com slash RetroPie to get more information um, about RetroPie, how to install it, and some troubleshooting. And next we're going to change the directory to retropy-setup. We're going to use the sudo command dot slash retropy underscore setup dot sh. Just uh, hit enter for OK. Basic install, OK. Yes. Use the arrow key to move that over to yes and hit enter. Now this part here took about 40 minutes, but I've cut most of that out.
Okay, it's done. Now here's how it looked uh, when it finished on my Ubuntu machine. <clears throat> so you can exit out of that. And uh, here's my proof that I actually own an NES. Here's a drawer with some of my games, Bard's Tale, Track and Field, Pro Wrestling, Battle Chess, 1942 and 3. Okay, we're showing my home folder here, and I'm installing a thumb drive that has NES ROMs for all of the games that I own. And that'll pop up here in a second. There it is. So now we need to open up the folder in my home folder where we need to transfer these ROMs. And that's in the RetroPie directory. ROMs. And we'll find the NES folder, which is down near the lower left corner. And we'll go back and highlight all of the ROMs. And we'll just drag and drop them. Okay, this is the controller we're going to set up. We're going to go back into the uh, command line. Make sure we're in a RetroPie-Setup directory. We're going to type Emulation Station. And it will automatically detect our gamepad. So we'll hold a, a button until we come up with this screen. And any of these that you don't want to configure, you just press a hold button and it'll skip it. Like left shoulder and right shoulder I don't have on my gamepad. So I'm holding a button until it moves on and says not to find. Then I'll configure the rest of these. Now like left thumb all you're doing is hitting a button on your controller that you want to be left thumb. And it's the same for all of these. We get to the bottom hotkey enable. I decided not to do a hotkey on the keyboard. So we'll do OK. Gives me a little warning here. And since I want to use the um, start and select buttons on my gamepad, I'm just going to hit yes here. And that's how you exit a game. On my controller, I just hold down um, the buttons I enabled for select and start. So now we restart Emulation Station. You can see Nintendo is there. It's all my games, 33 available. And you can just scroll up and down, pick what you want, 1942. And you can see it pops up here. Press a button to configure. And you can change which emulator you want to use.
and then we can do menu quit yep and that's it thanks hi if you've enjoyed this video or if it helped you out in any way please subscribe to my channel and help me get to 1000 subscribers if you subscribe and leave a comment, I'll subscribe to your channel and help you out too. Thanks.